my channel if you haven't been new here. My name is Jess. Today is the final day of seven days of top seven. And like I said, I, as always, have left the link down below for you. But I'm really sad to see this ending, but I am still really excited to talk about everything that I want to talk about today. Today's seven days of top seven is seven most anticipated reads. And I have scoured the internet. I have taken notes. I have come up with all of the books that I am super excited to read. So I hope you guys like this video. And let's go ahead and just get started. So the first book that I want to talk about is a book that I am the most excited for. You guys have seen me talk about this series before on my channel, but I couldn't not mention it. It is The Themis Files by Sylvain Neuville. It is the third book in the series, Sleeping Giants, Waking Gods, and then the new one is called Only Human, and I am so excited. I was so upset at the way the second book left off. I just needed more, and I'm really excited for this book. It comes out on... May 1st of 2018 and I cannot wait to read it. As you guys know, I absolutely adore that series so I'm very very pumped to read it and I cannot wait to actually have my hands on it. It is one of the few books that I have pre-ordered. The next book that I have here, I didn't know if I was going to like the first one. I actually got it in an out crate and I absolutely loved it. It is Daughter of the Siren Queen, which is Daughter of the Pirate King, the second book in that series. I loved the first book and I'm really really excited to read the second one. I'm trying to get an ARC copy of it but I don't think that's going to happen but I am still really excited to read it like I said it was such a lighthearted read it was so easy for me to read it I read it in like 24 hours I love the stories I love the characters I, I love the setting of it as well so I'm really excited to pick up the second one now this one we don't have a release date for we don't even have a cover for it we don't even have a name for it it would be the second book the book that follows Warcross I'm really excited supposedly that's coming out in 2018 and I cannot wait to have my hands on that one I loved Warcross so much I love the world that it takes place in so I'm very very excited to actually have a copy of that book in my hands I'm just I'm so excited because I just recently read Warcross and I I don't really like waiting a whole lot between books I'm, I, I need the book right now now the next one I'm actually really excited for because I actually read this the first book of this uh, recently not recently but within the last like six months and it would be Blood of a Thousand Stars Empress of a Thousand Skies number two by Rhoda Beleza as you guys know I really adored the first book so I'm really excited to read the second one I didn't once again didn't like where the first one left off so I'm really excited to have the second one to finally be able to get more information about what the hell is going on in that series I really enjoyed it I really I honestly did I thought it was really great if you haven't read it I would recommend it it was definitely like a easy read but I still really liked it so I'm very very excited for the second one. I am so excited for this one. It is Fierce Like a Firestorm. It is the Hibiscus Daughter number two which is by Lena Popovic. Um, Wicked Like a Wildfire was the first one. As you guys know, I've really enjoyed that book, so I'm incredibly excited for the next one to come out. I read that book in, I think it took about a month. I buddy read it with Crescent Moon Reads here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. And it was so good. We were both just messaging each other like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. It was such an unexpected read for me as well this year. I just, I, I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did, and of course I did, and I cannot wait for the second one to come out. Um, since Victoria Schwab is pretty much an autobi author for me, and I don't know anything about this book, like I know zero information about this book, it is City of Ghosts, apparently that's coming out in 2018 as well. Like I said, it doesn't have a release date, doesn't have a cover, and I have no idea what it's about, but be damned if I'm not going to buy it the second we get any information on it, because I have fallen in love with Victoria Schwab, I love her writing, I love her as a person as well, I got to meet her at BookCon, and she is the sweetest person you will ever meet, honestly, and I'm really, really excited to have this book. And then of course we have Muse of Nightmares, Strange the Dreamer number two by Lainey Taylor. You guys know I read that book today. It was in the running to be my top pick for the year. I did not think I was going to like it and I absolutely loved it. I'd, I don't know why I didn't think I was going to like it because I'd heard such great things about it, but I'm really excited to have my hands on the second one because the way the first one left off, I was so mad that I threw my book across the room. I needed more information and obviously there wasn't any, so I'm really, really excited for 2018 to get here so I can finally figure out what the heck happens. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video, the final day of 7 days of Top 7. I'm probably not going to post tomorrow's video because I'm really tired, um, this is taking a lot out of me, it is a lot to like film and edit and upload seven different videos but we'll see so hopefully there will be a video tomorrow if there's not please forgive me I'll be back on Wednesday but I hope you guys are having an excellent week and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video bye